All right, see you guys in a little bit. Now, for the start of the match here, we're really going to be interested to see how Ultima tries to space out Mika. I mean, hey, that's the match. That's the matchup. That's how you space things out. Ultima going to take this corner. Oh, sadly, no conversion on that counter hit. All right, let me let me get it acclimated to the to the atmosphere here in this oh. set. Oh, yeah, it's always hard to walk in the middle of things and be like, what the hell is going on? Yeah, I kind of got dragged off the stage as soon as Pavo <laughs> took me out to come up here, so. All right. Yashi Ultima, I don't know much about their history. Uh, I was going to say, I mean, just based on the current tournament uh, places from like, Ultima, I mean, Higashi, probably going to be a little favored towards him, but I don't know. Yeah, Ultima, I mean, they've both been doing very well. Yeah, so. exactly. Ultima consistent top eight. Look at that low profile. Low that profile. is the tech you need to have against Mika players. Not just knowledge in this game starting to evolve. Here's the V reversal. You can see it oh. a little bit, and he had the punish ready. Wow, I wonder which way he had to input that command grab. Because it's crossing you over. It. I believe you wait for it and you do okay, it as like makes sense. on the side that he ends up on. Yeah, that makes sense. Flat right back to the corner. Where Mika is so scary. God, Mika time. Oh, and Ultima is not dealing with the Mika pressure. Stun, absolutely. And this is not something kill that Higashi is so good at. He's so good at playing the Mika oh, game. Ouch. You know, he's probably taking advantage of. Um, uh, we all saw Ultima lose to Pavo in a, in a kind of sad way, like the five command grabs in a row type of way. And so Ultima there was definitely caught holding up, and, and maybe Higashi playing a little bit off of that, that Some, prior uh, match. <laughs> exactly. Some of those old mind gamers were like, oh, the last Mika did this, so now yeah, I'm going to do exactly. this. Exactly. You let, you, let, uh, you let the other players condition for you. You don't always have to do it for yourself. Wow. What a nice confirm. Crowd strong stand like it. Oh, but you know what? This is something that Ultima has been so good at is doing that corner pressure, but I love that use of V-reversal from Higashi. Gets the follow-up as yeah. well. Here we are. That definitely paid off. Oh, and again, just using that to make that pressure keep going. And as a showcase of the defensive V-reversal, very quickly followed oh by the offensive one. God, that ambiguous left-right into be a scoop. And Those Mika players. Andy, why is Mika dirty? Like, why did that just, like... It just hurt me to hurt me to watch. I feel bad for Ultima right now. I feel like I feel like when Mika was made, they they, they made her just fine, and then they said, "Now turn the damage and the stun up. Just turn the knobs up to 11. And, yeah, up, right up bit. to 11, and that's where Mika is now. They look for the stun too. All those Mika players are looking for that stun bar. Oh, 100%. And right when they get there, that's when the draft's coming. Oh, no fear Ultima, from yeah. Ultima. Finally having enough. Uh, but that's Higashi. You know, he's gonna walk back after the strong. Would punish that throw with the clap. Oh, great little off the wall from Ultima makes the space. And hey, you know what? That feature always a great little check. That's the win condition for for Rashid though. And now he's not going to have that when uh, Higashi gets his health down a little bit. So yeah, he just made it a little bit harder on himself, but he did get out of the corner. Maybe we'll see the feature used for uh, possible V reversals in the future. Counter hit, crowd strong, and no confirm. Higashi uses that feature for the pressure, finds some damage, and now it's looking close. Ooh. Ouch. Back to the neutral. Both these characters at low health. Nice hit. Could win. Oh, and Ultimate is having two great reads this round that's been killing Hidashi's pressure. It finds that last throw. You have that read, you can really you can really mess with the opponent's head. It's not just about what's happening on screen, and, and that hurts you and inside as well. That's the thing about Street Fighter V. The hitting or missing the uppercuts will literally decide rounds. If you're hitting uppercuts, that's going to be really hard for your opponent. If you're missing them, well, you're probably dead. We've seen it time and time again uh, tonight. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So. That low profile. Higashi's gonna have to respect that. Oh yeah, and I love that Ultima has that tech locked and loaded. Oh, oh. wow, a little, he's still holding his stick. <laughs> All right. Oh, Higashi's really won that center. Center. Yeah. <laughs> Almost punished the microphone, but here we have Higashi now with the powered up throw. That's gonna do more stun than it normally will, so watch out for that. Stun and damage, if it hits, watch. It's, it's just, it, feel, it looks so great. <laughs> Yeah, watch for him to be doing the, another meeting normal. Ooh, what an option from Ultima. This had the read on what Higashi wanted to do with that neutral Oh, jump. man. Higashi ready for that craziness. Oh, but no fear from Higashi. Pressing buttons as soon as he's out of block stun. All right, he's got the V-reversal packed. Oh, Ultima, no fear this whole game. Lost what a, a tense situation. Yeah. 30 seconds left here in game two. And both players have the same idea. They wanted to get in. Well, they still want in. Oh, okay, cool. You can, you can do that. Over here, okay, still mid-screen. Ooh, the run cancel the, sh the check low, so good. 
Oh, and with the jump in into the throw. Damn. That's all, kind of a heartbreaking loss. I mean, Higashi had the life lead that round, uh, if I remember correctly. But you know what? A really great job from all through there is to slow down the pacing, set back to neutral, and just never let Higashi get close again. It's hard as one of those pressure characters to slow yourself down a little bit. You managed to do it there. Kind of feeling each other out. Little walks. Ooh. Ooh, what's the confirm here? Nothing. Just a little too far. And that's hard. It's just you really have to know the specific space of how far away that dash is to confirm. Here we go. Here right we back go. to the corner right though. The Ultima. Corner. Oh, he is now one hit away from stun. All right, yeah, go for that just to get that stun bar down just a little bit. Oh, yeah, no, no V cover. reversal anymore after that V trigger, so that's going to stun and get around. Wow. Okay. Ultimo, what, a, what an adjustment yeah. after a harsh game one. And I think a lot of this comes down to that neutral. When Ultimate got in, even the first game, it still looked good. And he still gained in and making that look good. But just making it so much harder for Higashi just to ever find his way in the first place. Oh, we'll see if Higashi manages to counter adjust here. Uh, That's a good start. Okay. Wow, get days. back into the corner. You're not going anywhere. Back out. in again. Is that going to be stun? Oh, I wonder. Wow. Oh, oh, he, wants to, he wants to kill with the stun, I see. Makes sense. But no more. Now the anti airs are on point. Ooh, finally the scoop. Here we go. Back to the corner. Oh, no confirming to the EX Peach. That could have been the round. Ultima, what can you make happen with this corner? He tries to find the set, but no, no conversion. Confirm. Oh, well, and there's then the punish again. Going wow. down to round three. And just a really uh, unfortunate fear reversal there that put him right back in the corner. Higashi was ready and had to deal with all the buttons. Yep. Can't call it unfortunate, man. That That's on him. He's going to deal with that punish. But here we go. Let's see if he recovers. <laughs> Fair enough. I like this patient neutral from two uh, commonly crazy characters. Mm -hmm. I mean, relatively uh, calm neutral here. <laughs> yeah, certainly. Well, Ultima slowed it down with that low profile and the heavy kick, so now they kind of have to respect one another a little bit more. Yeah, both players still look like they're trying to find jumping down again once that neutral gets reset, but oh, no corner pressure for you. Yeah, on point with those anti airs. Oh, interesting. Never seen the Aries on that center before. You're actually going to deal with this by jumping away. That You know, that's smart. Smart yeah. and calm. There's no more tornado. Ooh, and now back to the corner. Gosh, one step ahead and wow, just do it. What a Calling him fest. out. Yeah. Oh, maybe afraid of it because of the last time. It's a little too slow there. Low profile with the wrong button. We saw him do that crouching light kick there. Yeah. He's yeah. got V trigger again, though. Oof. Luckily, that was max, max range there on that sweep. Oh, and again, at this time, he's going to get the V-Trigger out. I think oh. it does get a uh, mix-up after that. <laughs> Mashed and jab. Best anti-air. Oh. Street Fighter five. Oh, there's that crouchy jab mash, and Ultima's going to bow out now. Yep, up to one. Oh, all right. That's kind of...